Things are looking bright for one of Marvel Comics' darkest characters. While critics have used their reviews to tear Venom limb from stretchy limb, the film-going masses appear to really be growing attached to the symbiotic superhero movie, and they've unexpectedly sent the film's audience approval rating soaring on Rotten Tomatoes. By the end of Venom's opening weekend, the Sony Pictures production was sporting a surprisingly stellar 89% audience approval score on Rotten Tomatoes, a huge difference compared to its much lower critical score on the site. The audience rating as a result of more than 16,000 votes, seeming to indicate that quite a few filmgoers made a point of hitting up Rotten Tomatoes after seeing the movie to let their thoughts be known. The apparently positive audience reaction is obviously a huge turnaround from what reviewers thought. When Venom slithered its slimy body onto the silver screen at the start of October, movie critics weren't exactly loving what the symbiote and its host had to offer. The very first reports weren't terrible, but they seemed split on how to feel about the not-quite-a-superhero superhero flick. Some found the relationship between Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and and the alien Venom to be a highlight, while others found joy in the movie's humor, whether it was intentional or not. But the inconsistent tone of the movie, along with its failure to follow through on some of its more interesting elements, were major points of contention in these first impressions. When Sony Pictures lifted its review embargo, the floodgates opened, and critics took their knives out on Venom. Some argued the movie was so bad it's good, while others contended that the whole thing was just plain bad. Like a bird in the wind. And since its theatrical release, Venom has sputtered to a paltry 31% critical approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which would seem to mark the Ruben Fleischer-directed movie as a certified stinker. Richard Roper with the Chicago Sun-Times slammed the movie as a tone-deaf, uneven, and maddeningly dumb clunker that never settles on an identity. Another critic venomously described the production as a chaotic and focused assembly edit of a movie that appears to have had all the vitality and humanity parasitically sucked out of it. Yikes. Though critics Critics and general audiences don't always come to the same conclusion regarding the quality of a film, Venom appears to be a particularly unique case, as there's a significant difference between the way professional reviewers and casual moviegoers are reacting to the movie. If you go by the numbers, from the high audience score to the record-setting opening weekend, it seems like audiences are straight up loving this movie. Venom is hardly the first movie that critics and audiences have clashed over like this. In 2017, only 40% of professional reviewers gave the Justice League movie a positive rating while 74% of the audience voters claimed to have enjoyed it. A similar sequence of events played out in 2016 with Suicide Squad. The critical score for the supervillain team-up flick came in at 28%. But once audiences saw it for themselves, 60% of Rotten Tomatoes voters gave it a positive rating. Are the critics wrong? Or are some audiences just that easy to please? It's hard to say for certain. Perhaps the most infamous recent example of critics and fans fiercely disagreeing about a movie's merits came in December 2017 with Star Wars The Last Jedi. But in that instance, the situation was flipped, with 91% of reviewers loving writer-director Ryan Johnson's entry in the franchise. Fans of the series, however, seem to largely revolt against the sentiment, with only 45% of users saying they enjoyed it. So it just goes to show, this is a phenomenon that goes both ways. Venom's opening weekend brought in over $205 million worldwide. Coupled with the sky-high audience score, the people in charge at Sony will likely be encouraged to press on with plans to turn Venom into the start of a full-fledged cinema universe, using the movie as a springboard to launch other stories from Sony's spider-focused stable of Marvel characters. With this kind of reception, we're almost definitely getting a Venom 2, hopefully one that can thread the needle a little better, and serve up something critics and audiences both love.